Uh, hi, baby. It's uh, okay. Uh, so all that uh, all that other footage I re recorded yesterday, and I thought I, I just. Uh, Once again, uh, what can I say? I, I, uh, I enjoy taking walks. I like to walk. Uh, but I'm unable to walk long distances these days. Like, for instance, I go into the Botanic Gardens and I like to walk around down there. And, uh, I, uh, well, I like to rest. I like, uh, I, I, I sleep during the day. If I've if I've had uh, I, uh, I just like to wear my hat um, and uh, uh, what was what was I going to say I do a few minutes of activity and uh, even walking from the li walking from the living room to back to my I've got this very comfortable chair. It's in the corner of the, the living room and uh I've got the balcony window. It's a huge balcony all nice huge it's a standard balcony, I'm trying to say it's a big window, it's a sliding window and I have my my lounge chair there in the corner and I um be listening to an album or I'll be writing, I'll be doing, I'll be generally, I'll usually listening to a pod, watching a podcast on YouTube and I'll fall asleep during it. I, uh, become very exhausted very easily. And maybe sometimes if I'm having a few thoughts at once, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be thinking, what will I say first? What am I going to convey first? And or what should I talk about in regard of something? Um, these moving blankets which are on either side of me once again this is something else that I recorded yesterday the film the camera cut out on me uh, I've had these for a couple of months ago I ordered these off eBay and they arrived I didn't even take them out of the plastic for about three weeks maybe it was about two or three weeks didn't even take them out of them and then I pulled them down here to the garage and about a week ago now, maybe ten days ago, I put. It took me a while to put them up, but I did put them up, and it took me a while to do that. But some people on YouTube they say, oh, they say, oh, you know, five minutes to put them up, and some people would say, oh, it took me five minutes to put this up. It took me a it was a couple of months, and I had to do a bit of figuring, and I did put them up and they're very easy to take down but it took me a while because I only have so much energy and I, I did that and managed to get them up there and that's good uh, just trying to get a bit of conversation going for the camera for you Said pattern. When you got back to me yesterday, you said patterns, and was there? I said there is patterns because I have a, I have OCD. I have OCD, which involves patterns, and those, uh, it was it was incredibly difficult to live with in my twenties. I had uh, extraordinary patterns, which interfered with my life greatly. It was ridiculous, uh, and, and looking back now in retrospect, it's, it's amazing I got through my twenties because it was very immensely disturbing to me. Very completely mentally interfering to me I had these patterns which I decided that I needed to decide that I needed to do every day. Let me check it's recording. I've always been so let's check that it's recording. That's the most important. Okay. Alright. I just have to always check that it's this is a very old camera. I've had I've, I must have bought this camera in about two thousand and fifteen. Seventy bucks from Kmart. It it it's really good, old but good, and then one day a couple of years ago I realised it had camera recording, fun video recording fun function, function, I can't say certain words, uh, 
What was I going to say? Oh, man, where was I? I was at a particular point. OCD patterns. Yes. Because I thought that I, I, decided, I, I decided to do for some reason. And eventually those patterns would change. They would change. And I said, I, I do still do them to an extent, but much less than I did them in my 20s. I have the OCD. When I'm very stressed, I get the OCD a great deal. I'm stressed. I get it a lot. Um, yeah. And I, 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 in my twenties, for half of the morning, there was a very, very particular pattern that I did, and this was exhausting to me in every way, to almost to every fibre of my brain, my brain, and and caused me, I think, great stress. And eventually, I would work myself out of that. And, and develop a new pattern, and then over time that will decrease. The pattern will decrease over time, and I think uh, by at least the age of 23, I wasn't doing that. Uh, or I wasn't doing that anymore. It just progressed into something which is easier for me. But I still get OCD now. I, I, I get it now, and it's, it's something that I live with. I don't think I could imagine. I couldn't imagine being without it. You see, but. It's very different now than it was in yesteryear. Totally, totally, really different. To like, I could say that it almost doesn't affect me now, but it does affect me. It probably doesn't make a lot of sense. But um, once I I'd, I'd look back on the videos I recorded yesterday, and I thought that I could say more uh, patterns. Yes. I tend to like, I, I tend to look at the past and certain years and 2012 was, uh, that's what I was going to say about booze, that's right, I conveyed this in, the, in what I wrote to you but can't, <laughs> Conveying something in words takes a great deal, and saying it like this is much easier. Okay, I don't know if it was July, I think it was May, because I looked back on something yesterday and I had said May, I don't know, about the middle of the year. I recall, actually I sat on the edge of the bed, I sat on the edge of the bed at Sydney one day. I'd been drinking casks of white wine, I'd been drinking wine by cask. Uh, maybe a cask every two days, maybe. And I sat in the bed and I said to myself, I feel that if I drink one more glass of wine, I might die. If I drink one more glass of wine, I might die. And I don't want it to happen. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't, that's, I don't wish for that to happen. And then my friend, she had called me. She said, she would text me or something. She said, because I go out of town with her, we just hang out of town. She said, we, we party a lot. We do this a lot. And she said, maybe we need to slow down. And so, I don't know, maybe a day later or two days later, I just, uh, I, I stopped. And I, was, I, I had gone four days and we went out on the town, went into Newtown, met up with a couple of people, meeting a couple of people. And I knew one of, the, one of these people I knew well, and I said, I said, oh, I said, I haven't had a drink for four days. And they said, really, four days? I said, yeah, they went, oh, wow, that's cool. Because uh, on the rock scene, like, if you hadn't, oh, uh, you know, going four days without a drink, so I know, like, four days, I said, oh, I should try that sometime. Like, are you serious, Pat? Four days, I'm like, four days, and four days without a drink. I said, oh, that's incredible. And then I went two weeks. And then I went three weeks. And I did a month. And to me, that was incredible. A month without the booze is incredible. Yeah, I've been through a period. Is that still recording? I heard something go. I heard something make a funny sound then. 